Vincent came out today. He said, I'm gay. I've struggled with my personal identity my entire life. While my parents were working in China, I moved around a lot from my home state, from home state to home state, which is basically where you live in a stranger's home. At the age of eight, I was bombarded with homophobic and sexist remarks at home. And whenever I did something that wasn't manly, I was told, why are you acting like a girl? And to stop being gay. I was hyper conscious of how I should act and tried not to act or sound gay, but I was still constantly bullied at school for it. No child should have to feel like they don't belong. Working in the video game industry hasn't helped matters either. On almost every team I've been on, I've heard homophobic comments from either my teammates or the staff and felt uncomfortable, even borderline afraid of possibly losing my job if I told the truth. I'm at a point in my life where I've accepted who I am and it's taken me a long time to get there. My story is not unique. The gaming industry is rampant with sexism, prejudice, and homophobia. I don't believe there's a quick fix, but it starts with us holding ourselves to a higher standard and treating everyone with dignity. We need to educate people in esports of proper conduct within the workplace. I am not making this announcement because I owe everyone the details of my personal life, but because I want there to be more awareness about the problems our, our community faces. Thank you to my parents and friends who have made me feel like I belong. You the real ones. Okay, so I love Vincent. I obviously support him no matter what. And I definitely was a part of not making him feel comfortable because back on TSM, I remember, you know, we're all heckling each other permanently. And like one of the things we'd heckle each other for is like about fangirls or about like getting a girlfriend. You know, we're like a bunch of crude ass, like stupid guys. And we're talking about, you know, like, oh my God, like set him up with this girl. So I've definitely been a part of making him feel uncomfortable. And I have apologized to him for that. And I, I didn't even honestly, this sounds extremely ignorant to say, but I didn't think of the possibility that he might be gay at the time. That's pretty much it, right? Like it, it's, it's a horrible culture. Um, and I would not say that I'm homophobic. I definitely act in a way that I'm not happy about because I'm sure that that made him feel uncomfortable, right? And I'm sure asking him if he's ever had a girlfriend before made him feel uncomfortable. I'm sure asking him, you know, who he's dated before made him feel uncomfortable. Like, yeah, he, he probably didn't feel particularly like open to expressing himself with us. And, uh, you know, since then, I think all of us have grown up and like, I learned from that. I, I learned from that, right? Like, I'm not going to make assumptions about people anymore. I'm not just going to automatically assume that every person, every guy that I interact with is straight. And first off, I just want to say, like, if you guys are going to ever make fun of somebody for their fucking sexual preference like that, uh, you're an asshole. You're not welcome here. Uh, especially, you know, Vincent is someone who's like really near and dear to me. He's one of my best friends. And I, I only want the best for him. You know, I want to, I want to support him no matter what. And I think it takes so much fucking courage to post something like this in the gaming community. The gaming community is disgusting, guys. You already know that 99 people out of 100 are going to support him because they're, they're, we're actually like normal people with like normal brains. But it just takes one out of that 100 to be deranged, mentally ill dude who's just going to heckle him about this for the rest of his life. And that could ruin his day. That could ruin, that could ruin a good moment. You know, he's probably browsing this shit and he's going to open it up and he's going to find one dude who's just going to be a total asshole to him about it. And that's just going to ruin his whole day. So I, I really hope, you know, you guys send him nothing but love about this and that you don't that you call out people who are just being like, you don't just ignore the people who are going to be assholes to him because he's gay, but like you actually actively fight those people because yeah, it's, it's definitely not cool. It's, it's totally not cool. It's very brave that he came out with this. And I think people should definitely feel welcome. Like they belong in our community, even though our community is turbo scuffed. Yeah. I think, I think it's definitely, yeah, he definitely has my respect. What's up? Yeah, like we can change the community. I hope my my little community can change the community a little bit, you know, because I I've definitely done a lot of growing up through my career, and you know, if I read, the thing is, I want to I just want to say one thing. I, I don't want to like fucking uh, make it seem like what I like my toxic the toxic moments that I put him through was okay, because it wasn't. Like it, I, I look back on it, I'm like, ugh, fucking disgusting. You know, why am I like, why am I like asking him about like what kind of girls he likes or whatever it is? So, so that like, put that aside. I think that if he had come out on TSM and he told us, yo guys, like, I, I don't like girls, I'm gay. Literally every single person on the team would support him and not look at him and treat him any differently at all. Like he didn't, he probably didn't feel safe at the time, which is understandable. But like, I know, I seriously know deep down that like me, Soren, Hanser, Svenskaren, and Parth, we are all like good people in deep down. I think that we would not treat him any differently. In fact, we would be so grateful that he would share something so private with us. None of us would have 
uh, done anything but just support him even more, you know, just be his friend even closer. I really, tr I really truly believe that. Yeah, I do think it will help more pros feel comfortable with themselves. Juke Ace, thanks for the four months. Uh, I, this year I turned 15, I realized how much of an asshole I was uh, two years ago about non-straight people. Like more and more I've learned to respect people and their decisions. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's actually one thing that you, you should differentiate too. I don't think that being straight or gay is a decision. Um, I think it's just like, <laughs> he's talking about at the age of eight, right? Like I don't think he made an active choice in his life to be the way he is and he, def he definitely should never have to feel self-conscious about it. It's just how you are, man. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm very happy for him. I feel like this was probably a huge weight off his chest. I don't know, man. Like I, I actually, I can only guess, you know, I'm, I'm an outsider basically, but I talked to him privately and I think this probably feels good. It probably feels really emotional because it probably feels good and bad since it's kind of like he's closing a really emotional part off. I guess he's he's confronting a lot of uh, like emotional moments that he's had. Terrible moments. Moments where you felt like pretty, you know, uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable. Can't be himself. But also it probably feels good to get it off the chat off his chest. So 